give you reflections and feedback. I'm like dying for you guys to get some music and sound in there. So we're going to have a specific lesson on that now. So we'll go ahead and just use the sounds that I have for you. I've got a location for that. And then later when you make your own game, you can add your own sound and your own sound files to it. All right, here we go. So when the game is played, I want to have a sound boing, some sort of bouncing sound there. I want a sound when he gets destroyed. And I just want some general music playing in the background. So let's do that. To get general music playing in the background, I'm going to go to my player, and I'm just going to do a play sound. Not play music, but play sound. I find play music doesn't work that well. It might as well just use play sound. So I'll do play sound here. And I've already added a bunch of sounds in here. I've uploaded game music one, jump up, and ouch game. And you guys are going to need to do that too, actually. So to add sounds, you'll click on this button and you'll add sounds. Now to find all the sounds that you need, if you go to mrbowl.com and you click on platform runner here at the bottom, you'll see the sound files here and you'll just want to right click and save link as. And then you can download them and then you can upload them like I have already here to the sound file. All right, so make sure you do that before you move on. But let's assume that you're now at the next part where you're ready to add a sound. So I'm gonna hit play sound here. And the one I want to play on a regular basis is game music. So there it is, I just type G-A-M. And now when I play my game, there'll be some music in the background. Hear it? Now when I die, the music keeps going even though uh, I've restarted the game. See, now I've got two versions of that music going, right? Which is pretty annoying. In fact, now I'll have three versions of that going in just a second here, see? And we don't want that to happen. So let's close this so we don't go crazy with it. So you see where it says run to completion here? Do not run it to completion. That is uh, selected by default. So go ahead and fix that. And you can mess with volumes here and, and pitch shifts if you want a little higher, a little lower, and all that kind of stuff. You know, check that out. Maybe you want to loop the sound so that as the game keeps going, it'll play it again. So I've got that. Cool. So now I have some music. Now I also want a sound. See, so I have a jump sound here when he jumps. And thankfully, I, even though I have lots of rules here, I have been naming these rules. So I know I can go right into this one. I don't have to search for a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to go to rule jump, and I'm going to add play sound again. There it is right there. And the sound I want to play is jump. Jump up. Now, this is such a short sound, it's not really a problem to run it to completion because it only goes for like a second anyways. Let's see how that works. The play button here. Music, and then hear my jump sound. Cool. Now I want a sound, and oh, by the way, did you notice the music stopped right there as soon as I died? Music's going and then stops. Uh, is, I, I, now I want a sound that when I collide here, I want some sort of sound that says I have died. So I'm gonna close this up here and we're gonna go to the right place for that. So let me close these up. We have rule jump and how about rule destroy when hit obstacle? I think that's where I'm gonna wanna play my sound. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna type in play sound. Now I'm gonna go ahead just in case, I'm gonna move destroy actor here below play sound. I don't think it'll make a difference, but just in case, I want to make sure I get it in the right order, that it plays the sound before it destroys it. In fact, maybe I'll even put it up here. I'll play the sound first before it's the spawn actor and before destroy. That way it won't be late. So now that sound I need is ouch. And let's try it out. Nope, keep hitting that. Here we go. Jump sound and ouch. Here we go. And then it'll start all over again. Isn't that a cool ouch sound? You like that? So there you go. That's how you add sounds. Make sure you that will be your next thing to do is add a bunch of sounds because sounds and music certainly increase the joy of playing the game. All right. Thanks for watching.